Dogs and cats rarely get along. They are traditional enemies. So most of the time, we never put them in the same room. But in this world of math, we can do anything. Well, mathematically of course. So let's put dogs in one circle, cats in another. They are in separate sets. Putting a large rectangle around both circles, we can label this universe as mammals. If we push the circles together, the part where the circles intersect are dogs and cats that get along. Like in this video. Oh, And now, for some mats. To understand sets, we have to understand the symbols used in sets. Look at this diagram. The universal set represents 30 students who are supposed to read newspapers. And it is represented by this funny looking symbol. Some of them read newspaper A, while others read newspaper B. They now move into separate sets labeled A and B. Set C represents the readers of the comic section in newspaper B. Since C is within B, we say that C is a subset of B. This means that even if you only read the comic section in newspaper B, it still counts as reading the newspaper. Students who don't read newspaper A are known as A complement. Now this is different from A complement. Like my mother used to say, son, you are so handsome. <laughs> a complement is whatever that is not contained within that particular set. But, is still within the universe. Now, what if some of the students read both paper A and B? Then the sets intersect. These extra Kiasu students represent an intersection, which is A intersect B. But behold, among these extra Kiasu people, two read paper A and B, but not the comic section in paper B. They must not have a sense of humor. So mathematically, we represent these people as A intersect B, intersect C complement. Look at this expression, A union B. It represents whatever that is within set A and set B. This could mean either students who read one or both newspapers. But if you are a lazy bum and you don't read any newspaper, not even the comic section, well, then you don't belong in any of the sets. This could be written as prime of A union B. Seriously lazy, man. Okay. Q&A time! The Venn diagram shows sets A, B and C. In the first diagram, shade A intersect B complement. While in the second diagram, shade A union B intersect C complement. So for the first diagram, B complement represents any region outside of B. So A intersect B complement is the overlapping region of A and B complement. Ta-da! The answer. For the second diagram, first we find A union B, and then we determine C complement, and the answer is the overlapping region. Now you know how sets work, but please don't put cats and dogs in the same room. They might not work out so well. <laughs> I'm Noel Chia, and I'll see you in the next episode of SPM Top Tutor Mathematics.